Hello, and my name is Mr. Zhang, and today I have a very special guest with me, Dr. Zhang. Now, today we're going to go over how to replace your water supply galvanized pipes with copper pipes. So, uh, before we uh, begin, Dr. Zhang, why would we want to replace our galvanized pipes with copper? It will start leaking after 20 years, and look at this. Oh my. You see this? Now, this is what happens to a galvanized pipe. It gets all uh, congested with rust and stuff. Now, alternatively, alternatively, with copper, there is not as much rust. So you could see here the galvanized pipe is all, is all rusty and nasty and congested in there. However, the copper pipes are quite clean, although there is some, some nasty green stuff. Okay. And also, there's a leakage. It could be have a leakage when you have a 20 years of a, a usage. We had a, a house, we bought it. When I went to the crawl space, I see this pipe. Where's this pipe? So, uh, Dr. Zhang, are you saying that people who have galvanized pipes try to fix the problem by putting on this clamp? But uh, what you're saying is, even if they put on this clamp, it's gonna leak. It's gonna leak eventually, right? Yes, sooner or later. I see. So sooner or later, it's gonna leak anyway. So this is one of the prime reasons we should replace these galvanized pipes. Now, Dr. Zanga, what uh, what are some other things that people do besides using galvanized pipes or copper pipes? Uh, a lot of people use the plastic, the white plastic. It's called a PVC. Ah, and uh, why is this worse than copper pipes? This is a plastic. Think about plastic. It will leach chemicals, but it does have some advantage. For example, easy to cut with a, a saw like this. Very easy to cut. And also, you can use a, a solvent to glue them together. It's very easy, but I don't like it because of the house concern. Oh, health risks. I know what you're talking about. I don't know about your family, Dr. Zhang, but in my family, as Mr. Zhang, I don't use plastic containers for food or anything because it's a health hazard. So that is one main reason we should not use PVC pipes. Now, so uh, we've already stated why we think PVC is not good and why galvanized is not good, so we're replacing it with copper, right? Now, copper is uh, more durable, it's bacteria resistant, and it costs less, and it's more easily installed. So it is clearly a good option. Now, it uh, re requires fewer uh, fasteners than galvanized pipes as well. The only bad thing about copper is that it's, uh, it's poisonous, okay? So as you can see, this, this green stuff, okay? It's poisonous, right? So I guess uh, the um, the bad news is we're drinking poison, right? But uh, the good news is we don't have any bacteria because that poison kills all that bad stuff too, right? Now, um, Dr. Zhang, Dr. Zhang uh, what do you need? What do you need to replace these pipes? Of course, you need a There are two different pipes. One is half inch. Uh, in diameter, one is three quarters. If you have a, a configuration like us, you would have a main pipe, and then on the main pipe you have one inch, and then you would have a three quarter, and the bare end is very thin, one half inch to connect to your faucet or toilet. There are two different Price. One is 10 year, one is 15 years. I recommend use uh, 15 years because it's thicker. That's the pipe. The second thing is you need a flexible pipe. And there are two kinds. So what is the big one for? So what do you need the, these big flexible tubes for? This is for water heater. Okay. One is hot, one is cold. And how about the small flexible tubes? 
The flat, the, the, those are for either toilet or kitchen sink. Again, there are two different kinds. This is a little bit more expensive, more flexible, and this is a more stiff. And sometimes the stiff may, because of stiffness, may leak at this end. So I would recommend you use this kind. So um, we also need something called couplings, right? Yes, there are different kind of a coupling, different size. You will get confused in the Home Depot, but do ask how to connect your faucet and everything else because the coupling or different type will connect to a different size of the um, of the pipe. Okay. Um, we also need cutting tools, right? Yes. We need a cutting tool. There are two different kinds. One is the copper cutting tool. It's like this. And you, I will show later on how to use it. And another cutting tool is cut the steel pipe. Use this one. This will cut the steel. Okay, so you, you use the saw to cut the galvanized pipes and you use that black mechanism to cut the copper. Now, um, we also need um, some lead-free solder. Am yeah, I right? Flux. And flux, right. So we need solder and flux. Yeah, so this is a lead-free solder. Yeah, there's a really one kind of solder. You need a, just need a lead-free, but there are two kinds. One is a lead-free, one is a, the regular. They both milled, uh, made by the same manufacturer. Don't get the wrong one. I would rather use everything lead free, but the the one with the lead is a little bit cheaper. For example, for the toilet, you can use uh, you know the cheaper one because no one is going to drink from the toilet. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, Doctor Zhang, but I don't drink from the toilet. So um, you also need some uh, straps, screws, and a torch. Yes. So the strap is to strap the pipe. If you have a pipe that will latch on a wood frame, you do this, and a screw will go through the hole and it will tighten the the pipe. And also there's a torch. This is a torch. Um, okay, that's all you need. All right, Dr. Zhang, uh, we've gone over the materials for what you need, but I think we've forgotten a, a very important aspect. You know, I think it's, it's, it should be um, everyone's first priority for safety. You know, we don't want anyone to get their eyes poked out. So be sure that no matter what, you always wear your goggles. <clears throat> Make sure you place this in multiple place, multiple place, so you don't have an excuse not to use them, mm, right? And it's not worth it to save a few dollars to do things yourself, but ruin your sexy eyes. Right. I don't want to ruin my sexy eyes, so I'm gonna wear these goggles.